Hey what's up YouTube, Shane92 here and today I'm going to be bringing you an unboxing of the Xbox One Elite controller. Now, I have already opened this to an extent because I'm holding the camera in one hand and obviously trying to unbox this one hand is not the easiest so let's do this. So you get a nice smartish box, well, I think it's quite smart for normal boxes and here straight away this is the Xbox One case. See, that's quite smart, so you can keep putting it away. Don't leave it on the side, it gets dusty or anything. So I'll just move this to the side. I'll just check there's nothing in there. I don't think so. Oh, yep. Got the manual guides in here. So I'll take them out. Pull that out. Pull that out and try and get that. But that's not coming out. We're going to have to slide this all out. Put that there. Slide this out. Oh, no, it's easy. Right, that's good. That's done. Push that to the side now. There's the case in the box here. So what we got, I think these are just warranties and manuals, it's the first lot, it's Xbox controller setting up, download the free accessory app, most of us should have if we've got an adapter, this will just be the manual book, so all the boring stuff we don't need that, this setup guide, Obviously that would be important. So this is all the features that you should have inside. It's just one controller, that would help. Then the case, batteries, I don't know if that come with it. USB cable, uh, interchangeable D-pads, that's for if you want to go from traditional, say Call of Duty, things like that, to fighting games. Uh, Customisable thumbsticks and panels were on the back so instead of you shooting like that or reloading aiming um, you can quickly press the back panel and then do the same feature just soft to the basics we'll put that aside we don't need that what we got here this is probably the cable oh there we go we do have the batteries yeah this is like the usb cover it's quite smart that's a Nice quarter one because, as you know, if you've got the adapters, they break easy. Oh, I've had two, that's how shit they are. So, that's probably just the charger one and to do the updates because you need to do the updates. So, we'll put that to the side. Now, let's open this up. Not far with one end. I've got to say, it's quite this really is quite smart. You can try to take this to your mates or I've already opened it once. Take it to your mates. Don't have to get it scratched off or anything because it is already in a nice case. So bam! There it is. There is the controller. Let's have a look at it. If you guys want to know any more about it, just leave me comments and I'll try and answer you the best as I can. So let's have a look at what other features we've got in here. Should we pull that out? No. Okay, so we've got... It's going to be hard to get out. We've got the thumbsticks. Quite hard for you guys to see, so I'm going to move that. More thumbsticks. And D pad. Right, so that's it for the case. So we'll move the case. Let me just sit down so it's easier. Okay, so say you're playing some Call of Duty games, then your mate goes, You want to fight? And you'll go on, I don't know, Street Fighter or whatever. I'm not a fighting fan, so I don't know about this. So let me take that off. Say you you had the traditional 
the traditional D-pad. Up, down, left, right. Okay, so you fight, uh, playing Call of Duty, calling your kill streaks. Uh, Want to fight? Let's do this. You take this, plug it on there like that. Bam! Now I can fight easy. I think most people use that, but proper fighters use it. stuff like this because it's easier. You could still use this for Call of Duty and things like that. I'm sure you can, but I don't know. I don't play uh, one of them. I'll test it out and let you know. Say so you're playing with your thumbsticks as well, you get annoyed. Bam. Take it off. Or you, you say you're a PlayStation fan, or your mate's a PlayStation fan, he wants to play. You can simply come along, plop these on, you feel more at home. That's more PlayStation y. I think it's quite cool. Now, here, if you can see that, this is, from what I know, is different types of modes like you can have it set out for again example traditional Call of Duty or you can change it and put it into fighting mode automatically so that we put these ones on now that's more 360 style that's probably easier for the 360 viewer to get back into so let's turn this over now now these the customizable uh, back panels that you can easily take it off if you don't want it on. It's all they are. Plug into there. Bam. So let's try to switch to So you're playing Call of Duty. Bang, 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 bang. Now everyone knows that it's quite an effort to quickly stab. You can quickly change your settings to one of these. That's literally all you do. So. Shooting, shooting, he gets close, bang. That's it, that's the tap. It's over. Some of the other features I know about it is the triggers. This way it's to be hairline triggers. So they're a lot smaller, or not should I say smaller, but they're a lot closer to the actual trigger or the actual mechanism what fires once you've pressed the controller. So basically you're quicker at shooting. You click at reloading, zooming in, whatever, whatever you want to set your system to. It's all personal preference. So yeah, cheers for viewing guys. Please do leave me a like, comment, and if you're new around here, please do subscribe. Shane92 out.